A lot of talk this morning about our snowy weather. We wanted to know whether this April cold snap could delay something else, perhaps the arrival of the Brood X cicadas. Nine First Morning Meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark will fill us in on whether we will still be hearing from them and uh, get some timing. Jen? Hmm. Yeah, so cold air has returned to the tri state. I had a lot of you asking yesterday will this, what will it mean for this year's cicada emergence? Well, Let's, let's just check this out. The reality is we've already had reports of cicada nymphs popping their heads up. You're seeing those little uh, tufts of soil. Those are actually called chimneys, but it's proof that they're getting closer and closer to the surface. But the reality is, is that we will not see this cold weather killing any of these pesky bugs. I'm not expecting the uh, next two nights to kill any of them because the cicadas tunnel is going down at least, in some cases, six to eight inches, and they can actually drop down far enough to be below where the, the freeze point would be. Uh, as far as uh, impacting the cicadas, the most likely thing that's going to happen is it may, may push them back one or two days in their emergence. But that could be quickly uh, taken care of if we get in the 80s early. Yeah, so brood 10 pretty smart. They, they know what to do. They're still going to emerge. This actually happened as well back in uh, 20, or 2008 with brood 14. Same thing happened. It was like five days of cold weather in May. It didn't kill a single cicada. They still came out, and these will too. So for those that had those burning questions, I got you all covered.